Hello everyone! Today we are talking about the appropriateness test and how to implement it in your investor onboarding flow. Unfortunately, losing trust trend luck with crowdfunding platforms is very common for thousands of retail bakers. To protect the most vulnerable, the FCA and other glitters encourage crowdfunding companies to implement appropriateness and suitability test in their onboarding modules. Today we will give you some tips so you could discover what an appropriateness test is and how to integrate it in your solution. Let's see how the appropriateness test works in the UK. As of December 9, 2019, the FC introduced new rules to protect unsophisticated investors. Appropriateness assessment is an integral part of the new regime. It's designed to make sure that bakers have relevant knowledge and experience in investing and P2P lending. The crowdfunding platform is responsible for assessing bakers against their investment background. It's up to the provider to decide where to play the test in the onboarding process, but it should be passed before any investment is made. Questions should be multiple choice and cover topics like client's exposure to the risk, investment characteristics, the nature of the client's relations with other parties, the characteristics of security interest, risk diversification, and mitigation practices. As a result of the task, the provider identifies the status of the baker – everyday investor, sophisticated baker, or high net worth individual. Some platforms ask clients to identify the status themselves and then cross-check it. In case the provider doesn't receive sufficient information, it shouldn't provide the baker with access to current offerings. Appropriateness is checked when bakers don't turn to investment advisors and act on their behalf in complex deals, for example, on crowdfunding platforms. In non-complex deals, the test is considered unnecessary. Now, let's move on the US and explore suitability test requirements for the US investment market. Every investment firm, crowdfunding company or advisor in the US should meet FINRA Rule 2111 on suitability check. It requires to check customers' age, other investments, financial situation and needs, tax status, investment objectives, investment experience, investment time horizon, liquidity needs, risk tolerance, and other information. Why should crowdfunding companies bother with investor appropriateness and suitability, you ask? To comply with the regulator's requirements and industry standards, to better protect clients and educate them, to propose those offerings which work best for investors, to ensure borrowers that the pool of investors deliberately take risks, and to be able to operate cross-border and adjust to different regulatory regimes. There are some challenges that appropriateness test might entail. Changes and complicated procedures may distract potential investors. Unclear and complex questions may mislead sophisticated bakers. Repeated tests may lead to inaccurate and different results. Now, what about the European Union? In November this year, the new pan-European crowdfunding regulators were applied and they also define the suitability and appropriateness requirements. Non-sophisticated investors willing to invest via an authorized European crowdfunding platform need to take a test to prove that they understand the risks involved with investing on the platform. The test usually has several multiple-choice questions configured by the platform administrator. From what we see now, it looks like the European crowdfunding regulations allow non-sophisticated investors to proceed with investing even if they don't pass the test successfully. In this case, an investor should see an explicit warning informing them of the risk. And now we will take a look at the best practices for the appropriateness test implementation. To ensure tests bring the results they are supposed to, for the recommendations by TISA, the Investing and Savings Alliance, the platform may choose when to assess future lenders, either during the registration on the platform or right before investing. Audit execution shouldn't be automatic. The platform should make a warning about risks involved in the deal before executing the order or request relevant information if the investor hasn't provided it. The FCA stated that investments made 
before December the 9th, 2019 and automatic reinvestments are exempt from the assessment test. The platform may conduct several appropriateness tests for a good reason. For example, if company products differ materially. It's important to take into account that results shouldn't be considered as binary pass or fail. Every platform decides what set of questions to apply. TISA offers a standard questionnaire. Also, you can run a competitive research or create a list of the questions that match best your niche and target audience. For detailed information, see the link in the description and read an article on our website. We are pleased to announce that the appropriateness test is now available in Landerkit, our highly customizable white-label crowdfunding software that comes with high-level software components and out-of-the-box features. It's a flexible module that you can fine-tune depending on how strictly you plan to manage the onboarding process on your platform or how strictly it's regulated in your jurisdiction. The appropriateness test module consists of the general settings and a test builder. General settings allow you to define what will happen in case the investor fails the test, how many attempts are allowed, are there killer questions that automatically decline the registration, the exact placement of the test, the number of days to retake the test, and so on. So let's sum up. Crowdfunding companies are supposed to follow regulatory guidelines and best practices regarding test implementation and questionnaires. Only those consumers capable of understanding the risks and of bearing the consequences should invest in crowdfunding deals and P2P offerings. FINRA obliges US-based players to conduct suitability tests to make sure investors provide the relevant financial information. The easiest way to meet FCA and FINRA requirements is deploy a ready-made solution like the Landicket Appropriateness Test module. That's all for today. Subscribe to our channel and see you later!